In this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to share documents and folders when you're in Google Drive. So right now I'm looking at my drive. You'll see we have our sidebar over here with my drive shared with me, all my different options over here, and I'm just looking at my drive. So right now I have a bunch of folders already created, and you're going to notice a slight difference between some of them. Uh, when you see a folder with an icon on it that looks like this, that has a little person, that means that it is shared. Um, when it looks like just a plain gray folder, it means that it is private, just you can access it. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is right click on one of those folders, and you're going to see a share with me option, or share option right here. Another way to do that is to highlight the folder and click share right up here. You can do that with multiple folders. So if I selected a few, I'd be able to share them all at the same time. I'm going to just look at one independently. So I'm going to right click on it and click share. And you're going to see two options on sharing. One is sharing with a link, and one is sharing by adding people's email addresses or their usernames. <clears throat> so what we can do is, looking at the link, if I want someone to be able to access this folder over and over, I'm probably not going to want to use this one. Uh, if I use this option of sharing, they have to actually click on that link to get back to their to this folder. Whereas if I enter in their email addresses, which takes a little bit longer, um, <clears throat> this will allow them to have that folder show up in their shared with me drive, and then they can access it that way. So it's easier to access. Um, either way, um, you kind of have the same options. So we can click on this drop down menu, and you'll see. Uh, turning off the sharing would make it so it's private to you. Uh, we're going to look at the more option right here. And you will see sharing link sharing is on. That means anybody with the link or anybody that searches for the link can find it and have access to it. Uh, this one on anyone with the link means that they have to specifically have the link. This one is on meaning that anyone at Washington County Public Schools that comes across your folder will be able to access it. Um, this one is anyone that has your actual link in watch in WCPS can access it and then turning the link sharing off means that it's just shared with either yourself or specific people that you add. <clears throat> now this little drop down right here is set to can view. If you want them to be able to edit the folder you want it to be set to at can edit. So I can click save <clears throat> and now I could copy this link and send it off in an email. Also, if I wanted to individually add their usernames, I could do that down here. Um, again, you're going to want to make sure you're picking the address that shows WCPS, not WCBOE. And again, you can change the editing to either can edit or can view. So I'm going to send this to say can edit. you can send them an email message and you could click send and that's going to go straight to their email. Uh, if we look here there is a little button down here for advanced which is basically going to show you who has access and um, you can add and remove people this way so we can um, remove this person if we wanted them to no longer have access to that. Um, you can if you have multiple people you'll be able to see their um, their access rights up here. So it's telling me that I'm the owner. If you have it shared with someone as view only, it would tell you that theirs is view only. Um, there's one other option down here at the bottom, prevent editors from changing access or adding new people. If you want the people to that you're adding to this folder, if you want them to be able to also add people, you want to leave this unchecked. If you want to make it so you are the only person that's able to add um, people to collaborate to this folder, you're going to want to check that box so only you can change that access. So I'm going to just leave it open and click send. <clears throat> and I'll click done. And now that folder is shared with the person you just added. When they get that email, it's going to ask them if they want to actually be a collaborator on it. 
if they kind of ignore that email, their fold that folder will show up and they're shared with me. So they might have to go through their shared with me and actually find a folder that's shared with them. And then they can click and drag that to their drive. And that's going to move that folder into their drive so they'll be able to add things to that folder as well.